Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Slovenia, so you'll see um, four layers in, hands are in the pockets, it's minus seven. We're outside an old army ammunition store and you can probably see from the sign, we've got a Brewix sign logo on the outside. Cue the Brewix van coming in. No, we didn't plan that. <laughs> Okay, so we're over visiting Demir Mocha at the Brewix facility. This isn't where they produce Brewix. This is where they have decided to put a production facility. And you're going to get to see the Brewix 1000 fully automatic in operation. Early days, they've just started this project. So you're going to see um, a lot of um, new equipment being installed and just generally the startup of the brewery. <laughs> Um, stainless steel platform taking you up towards the Brewix 1000. You will see that it's a three vessel system. So this uh, first vessel is your hot water tank. Um, this next vessel is your um, kettle, which doubles up as your mash. So you mash in, um, do your step mashes using the touchscreen fully automatic system. It'll then transfer over to the loiter ton and um, after the, it's been loitered, wort goes through the hot back into the uh, kettle. It's boiled, you can see there's good condenser on it, and then obviously uh, chilled. Uh, just for visual display, on, on this setup here, we're showing the counter flow chiller. This will be built into the jacket of the hot water tank, the same as is in the Brewix 500s, uh, 300 and 200 making all the water that's generated from the cooling um, suitable to be recycled. So it's sustainable in the sense that you're reusing the energy created from the cooling process and then that water is then used for your next mashing. So one interesting feature that I want to show you is the Brewix Boost system which is uh, capable of heating the water. So those of you that have watched my Brewix videos before you'll see where I talk about the heating elements. So heating elements are in here in this box. So it's got the same uh, energy consumption as the Brewix 500, only you're producing three times as much. Um, and that again makes it very sustainable and low energy use. So there's four uh, heating elements in here. Usually the Brewix 300 and 500 has three. The reason there's four is in case one fails, you have a fallback there where it can kick in so it doesn't disrupt your brew day. Now what's happening here is, the I'll take you around the other side and show you. The water um, is in here under pressure. So you've got 107 degrees at the top and then obviously it's gonna get lower as it goes down. It's recirculated through a pump. The pump is recirculating the water under pressure um, around the heating elements. And then it means that you've got a ready supply of hot water at all times. The plan is here that this is going to brew 24-7, so it means that they've got uh, hot water under pressure um, at a low electrical usage rate that's readily available at all times. Okay, so you can see that there's a new grist case has been manufactured and is, is sitting here ready just to be finally installed. So basically what happens is you go up the steps there, um, weigh in your malt, and it goes up the auger through the screw, mashes straight in, there to your mash tun, which doubles up as the kettle as well. Okay, so just to give you a, a, a little bit of a look at some of the kit, you can see here, so this is the automatic valves. Um, this is a little filter. You can see they've got the diaphragm valves on here if you want to adjust flow um, just to, for your runoff and all sorts of things. So the, the Brewix family of brewing equipment, obviously, plug and play for beginners, super beginner friendly for the 200, 300, 500. This is showing you that Brewix are capable of producing fully automatic brewing equipment for large scale breweries as well. 
and the build quality, the efficiency, the sustainability is just phenomenal. And these guys really do care about what they're doing. They're a family business. Family businesses are really important for us to be working with because we're a family business ourselves. There's integrity in their approach. They're allowing you to consistently make really high quality beer. This is a condenser, so whenever you're using this as a kettle, it's got a full boil on. There's water's going to be pumped in there uh, into the spray bowl. That'll condense the steam. The steam will fall down in here. Um, just means that it keeps the place free of a buildup of steam. Okay, so you can see nice uh, glass branded with the Brewix logo. Obviously, if you're ordering one of these, you can have your own logo added to it. So just taking the valve off there, open up and let you check out inside. So you can see this is your um, hot water tank. So look, you can see in the base there that there's uh, heating elements. Now we're using the Brewix Boost and uh, to heat up the water, but on this particular occasion, uh, the guys have some hot water in here and the elements just keeping it at a constant temperature just before. Uh, okay, so this vessel is your um, mash tun and doubles up as your kettle as well. So you can hear obviously the automatic system alerting us there that we've opened this up. Painted mix mashing system, um, which allows you to mix during the mash. It means that you get no hot spots. It means that you're getting a really good, efficient mash and really high extract. Um, you should check out the blog articles we've wrote in relation to this, which shows you just how much more efficiency you can get from using less ingredients with a brew experience system. So inside it's got the graduated um, litre marks there. You can see we've got just over a thousand litres in it at the minute. Spray ball for cleaning. You can see here again, nice man way. Opens up. Okay, so this is our uh, loiter ton. So you can see the rakes are in it there, and we have a laser cut uh, false bottom. Okay, so you can see here um, for safety, you have to press both buttons at the same time. This is right here, is obviously away from the manhole cover, so it just keeps everyone safe whenever the mash is being dispensed into the uh, ICB cubes that are then taken to the farmers. So maybe called a Brew Brewix 1000, but as with all the Brewix systems, you can exceed that um, figure. So generally between 20 to 30% more. So the guys are easily producing 1300 liters at a time out of this in a brew length and putting 2600 liters into the tank. Um, capabilities are that it's you know, able to run 24 hours a day, multiple batch sizes. This particular system is automatic, so it's got automated valves, so everything flows really quickly and easily. Brew day taking, you know, sort of five hours for a brew length. Okay, so we're joined now by Clement. So Clement, top quality Siemens throughout yeah. electronics, right? So on the screen here, I can see three vessels. I yes. assume it's this one, this one, and this one in the three, yes. yeah? And then all these little A's are this the valves. Valve is now in automatic system. What can you control from this? Can you do a fully automated brew day? Yeah. Here you choose uh, which step you'd like to do automatic. Hot water in, cold water in, 1000 liter, yeah. uh, and computer calculated how much hot water and how much cold water yeah. put inside. It's the speed the mix mash and the patented mix mash, and is that what that's referring to? The pump speed for the mix? Yes. Okay. You can put here what you like. What increments can you go up in? 10% increments from pump speed? 50%. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can put it on the 50% pump speed. Yes. And then that uh, mix mashes yes. throughout. If you put 45, you can go to 40, 40, 45. 45, yeah. Very good. Yes. And then you can change the step temperature yes. to whatever temperature what you want you like. as well. Okay. So we've got the, this is the, the duration, times. speed, step temperature. Yes. And then you've got you comments. Can... So it's possible to use this system to simply, you know, fill your grist case, allow yeah. the auger in, and then just push yes. through. And then you just monitor it throughout the day. Yeah. Can you also do a manual? Yeah. A really nice piece of kit. You can see um, fully touch screen um, allows you to take the choice of doing a fully automatic brew day where you literally fill the grist case and, and push automatic and fill all your steps and times, and it does the brew for you or you can do it manually and put it into a manual mode and you can open your own um, valves and you can follow the brew day yourself. One thing I want to make um, very clear to you guys watching this is that everything here is handmade by the team at Brewix. 
So obviously they buy the electronic components from Siemens, but every piece of stainless steel equipment is manufactured in-house. These guys really care about the quality. Um, I mean, it's premium quality, and you'll see from the production facility shots, just the attention to detail, making their own bolts, um, using lathes, using rollers, welders, really talented team. So guys, that is the new Brewix production facility. What a cool building. What an incredible piece of kit and look what lovely people to work with. So if you want any more information, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to help you and put Brewix into your brewery. So thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy brewing.